Hello, this is day two of our E-Days. Um, we are going to be doing circumference and area. This is a uh, topic which you have seen before, um, but we are going to just review it really quick today. Uh, we're going to build on this later this chapter. We're going to talk about things called arc length and sector area. They are both using circumference and area of circles. I thought it would be a good idea today to also talk about uh, leaving th things in terms of pi. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. Um, the formula for circumference, you all should know it. It's C equals 2 pi r. Um, and the reason why the pi is in front of the r is because pi is a number. 3.1415, etc., etc. It just goes on forever. But when you leave it in terms of pi, terms of pi, um, what they want you to do is they want you to multiply the 2 and the radius together and then leave a pi just sitting there on the final answer. And it's sort of an incomplete answer. But the, the reason why you're doing that is because you leave the pi there, it is a non-rounded answer. It's still exact. So even though it's incomplete, it's like leaving something one-third and not rounding to 0.3. You're leaving it exact. And so that's something we're going to be going through today, um, how to leave something in terms of pi. The other advantage of this and leaving it in terms of pi is that we are going to uh, probably not need calculators as much because we don't have to multiply pi times whatever 2r is, and it's going to make our life easier. Area of a circle is pi r squared, and again, that is something that we can rewrite in terms of pi, and what we're going to do is you're going to figure out the radius squared and then just put a pi on the end of it, and then that will be our answer. So these could be really, really fast, fast answers. So uh, leaving in terms of pi versus decimals, in, in brief, leaving in terms of pi, they would be like 14 pi. It is exact. What I mean by that is non-rounded. Whereas if I do 14 times... 3.1415 dot dot dot, it's a rounded answer. Okay, so rounded would be a rounded decimal. So if I say leave it in terms of pi on a quiz or a test, that's what they want. If I say give me a decimal to the nearest hundredths, they're assuming you're going to multiply pi into the answer and get an actual decimal. What's also interesting is if you were to take a number, let's say you're doing a patio or something like that, and it's circular, and you need to figure out um, how long something is or what the area of the patio is, you're not going to go to Home Depot or Lowe's with uh, a number in terms of pi. You're going to use a decimal answer. So there are limitations to this in terms of pi business. Um, but the biggest advantage for us, uh, and the reason why I'm, I'm emphasizing it today, is we want to uh, make your life easier especially for those kids that don't have uh, really good calculators. So uh, rather than using that, this should make the homework and, and assignments for this chapter pretty easy if we leave, leave everything in terms of pi. So let's do a couple examples. Um, so if the radius is 8 and they want the circumference, circumference equals 2r pi, if we leave it in terms of pi. So what I want you to do is I want you to do 2 times 8 and just put a pi on the end of it. So 16 pi meters is the circumference, and that is the answer. If I want to find the radius, uh, the radius is 5 feet, and they want the area. The area is r squared with a pi on the end of it. So in this case, we're going to take uh, 5 and square it and put a pi on it. So that would be 25 pi square feet, because we squared the 5 feet. So that would be the area of this circle. Let's, let's make it a little bit harder, all right? But before we get there, I need you to really understand the difference here. So area is the space inside of the circle, whereas circumference is the length around the circle. So think of this being a solid sheet of paper, like a cardboard cutout of a circle. That would be representing the area, whereas the circumference is just the ring, like a metal hula hoop, that is the circumference. So they are two different things. So this is a length. This is a area. And it's, it's like space, okay? It's 2D, all right, versus uh, one dimension, which would be a length, okay? All right, so moving on here. Let's take this uh, circumference and area formula to the harder versions of these problems. And these situations are going to give you the circumference or give you the area and you have to discover what the radius is. 
using some math. So for circumference, the circumference formula is 2r pi. And we're going to use that formula to do our problem. So 14 pi equals 2r pi. Well, what's nice about this is because they're both in terms of pi, you can just cancel out the letter pi. And now you have 14 equals 2r, and so 7 is the radius for this problem. Okay. Uh, for area, same thing. Area equals r squared pi, because we're going to leave it in terms of pi. And this is in terms of pi, so 25 pi equals r squared pi. Again, we can cancel out the letter pi, so now you're stuck with just 25 equals r squared. If I square root both sides, I get 5 equals r. And that is that.